Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft server. Hope you guys are all having a great day today. I am doing fantastic. Today is the day we start scamming the museums on the server. Oh yeah, it's going to be a good time, people. Uh, by the way, thank you guys so much for everybody who made skins. So far, I really haven't seen anything that I think would be fitting for my style. So if you want to keep trying, that's great. If not, I might hire somebody. So thank you guys so much for that. I really appreciate all the time and effort you put into those. Uh, today, like I said, we're scamming probably Cub because that's going to be the most fun. Uh, then we're going to do some building around the base. It's going to be a lot of fun. We got a, a great episode planned for you. So what are we doing to scam Cub? Well, I have a bunch of bones in my hands and one of the more rare things in Minecraft and Cub is all about the rare stuff right now is fossils. Now I Googled this and there's this huge fossil that I want to make. It's going to be really easy to make and it's going to make us a lot of diamonds. So the first thing that I had to do was fly around and find a bunch of diamond ore because these fossils now have diamonds surrounding them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to artificially make a fossil that I got. So I've dug out this huge area in a cave thousands of blocks away and I'm going to be like, yo, Cub, I was mining and found this fossil and it's going to work perfectly. I promise you. So with that being said, let me get my fossil built and we'll go from there. So now that our fossil has been made, it is time to make it look as authentic as possible. To do that, I'm just going to go around and randomly place diamond ore next to this. Now, I know you're thinking like, Jevin, how are you going to make diamonds if you're giving diamonds? Don't worry, this fossil is not going to be cheap. I promise you that. So um, I would say that's probably pretty good. So now that that's done, I have used Silk Touch on this project uh, so that now I can go back through and refill this, basically this entire little cavern. And the game plan is going to be to fill it in, then dig it out a little bit more. So it looks like way authentic. Got to make it look as original as possible. Come on guys, you know the deal. So I'll probably have to fix these blocks too, but that's the plan. I'm going to do that now. So the fossil has been filled in. Now I want to dig it out just a little bit to sort of make it look like I was like digging around to see how big this thing was. Got to make it look authentic as possible. You know what I'm saying? So got to get rid of a lot of the square edges here and uh, make it look very like uh, like it was actually here in the first place. So we're not trying to, you know, just steal Cubs diamonds because, well, while I am trying to steal Cubs diamonds, I got to give a quality product here. Professionals have standards, okay? <laughs> oh my God. All right, so let's just do a little bit more. So be like, yeah, I just was like kind of digging it out. So the only thing that really bothers me right now is the sides. It's way too clean on the sides real fast. Hold on, got to get rid of a little bit more of that. There we go. So got to get rid of all this up here and fall down, of course. It was important that we fall down. Okay, get rid of all this. Dig this back some. Maybe go further back. Get rid of a few pieces there. All right, I think our scammy fossil is ready to go. I was super meticulous when I was placing the deep slate in too. So it was all placed in the same direction. 
like it would be naturally formationed. There we go. Oh, I think that's going to work. We got to get rid of the blocks in the front, though. Let's do that real fast. Hold on. Get rid of you. You're in the way. You're in the way. There we go. Get rid of some of these. All right. Okay. I think we're good to go. Hold on. Let's back off and then go here. Oh, that's. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. That's so good. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Now I got to get Cub on the server. Cub. Hello. Anybody home? Hey, hey. Who is it? Where are you? Where are you? I don't, I don't see you. Oh, there Trev, he is. that's you. What's up? Hey, man? what's up, man? This place <laughs> hey, just... is looking snazzy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Been working hard on it and adding yes. some things today. Right. So very excited. Boy, do I got the offer of a century for you then. Really? Oh, the yeah. offer of the century. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. All right. This this better be good. Offer of the century. All I mean, right. Let me, let, me? let me paint you a picture with my imagination brush. So mm -hmm. I'm out in a distant land mining working hard and i come across this gigantic skeleton a fossil one might say no. biggest fossil you ever seen diamonds all around it oh it's beautiful cub it's beautiful are you being serious right it's now so so true it's wonderful and, and oh man i gotta see this jeez pristine condition okay okay can we can we see this fossil? Where where yes, is it? Yes, it is, we, we, we will have to travel to it because it is uh is a good bit away in a desert out in a distant land, but we can get there. Okay, I mean fossil is one of the things I need for this museum. As you, as you can see, there's no fossils yeah. around here. So this, ooh, the lodestones on the floor, you're a maniac, man. I definitely need some, man. I definitely need some <laughs> fossils, though. All right, let's go do it. <laughs> let's do it. Cool. So, Cub, what do you think yep. of the fossil that I found, bud? Looks pretty good, man. Looks looks pretty good. So uh, I, I really haven't dug it out yet. Just wanted to kind of preserve the way that it was. You know, it's a fossil. It doesn't need to be bothered too much, but gotcha, she's a gotcha. she's a beaut. Hmm. So, interesting, interesting. All right. Are you ready yeah, to negotiate right. a price? Um, or, do you, or do you want to dig it out a little bit more? Maybe look and maybe, you know, look and see. Yeah, yeah. This This looks pretty cool. I mean... So you were just down here caving and came across this naturally. Yes, it was sticking out of the wall. Uh, okay, a little glint off the the lava, yes, perhaps. Maybe? Yes, yeah, yes, something, something like that. Okay. Definitely. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So. Well, yeah. I mean, this looks this looks really cool. Uh, although I mean, this is huge, right? This is this is a like an epic piece. Uh huh. That could go in the museum, but I I've had I have a, a really nice neighbor. I don't Ooh, know if you know. Huh? Cleo, she's uh -huh. also running her own museum. Uh, okay, okay. I'm thinking maybe this could go in her museum as like a gift from me to her. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Would you be willing to like maybe like move this to her museum for me? Yes, and I will rig it to where it falls on her head. I don't know if you know okay. this or not, but me and Cleo are arch nemesis of each other. So gotcha. <laughs> but gotcha. no, I yeah. will for a, a tiny fee. I will deliver it. With diamonds and everything, or do you want to keep the diamonds? You know, they're kind of if you buy it, they're yours. So, uh, with the diamonds, I'll tell you what, Jeff. I'm I'm feeling generous today. I'm okay. gonna get out. I'm gonna get out a couple of diamonds of my own here. Okay, I'm gonna give you some payment for this. Okay. Right? Okay. This will cover your labor expenses. There you go. Okay. Cover your labor and expenses Ooh. to move it to Cleo's Sheesh. museum. All right. I appreciate this, Jeff. Thank you so much for this. This is a fantastic find. Okay. So uh, do you want me to deliver the diamonds to her? Do you? Can I keep those? Or yeah, go ahead and deliver the diamonds to her as well. You know, you want the whole thing, right? Because yeah. you know some of these diamonds, you know, definitely into won't the, uh, the fossil. Yeah, anything off the top or anything? No, never. No, no, no. of course not. Of course not. Perfectly preserved. Those as all a, things should be. Right? It's absolutely perfect, pristine, and everything. So. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I awesome, will deliver yeah. this, this and fantastic. hang it in the center portion of her museum. Perfect. And that's I'll, that's what, that's awesome, man. We need to we need to leave her. You want to leave her a message later saying it's from, or do you want me to do it saying it's from you, or? Yeah, go ahead and go ahead and put that on. Put it like on a sign, like perfect, a gift perfect. from a gift from Cub to Cleo. Perfect. I will absolutely do that. It was a pleasure doing business with you, sir. Indeed, indeed. Mm. Thank you so much, man. Awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. Jevin, this is looking great, man. This I know, right? Really it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Perfectly preserved. Perfectly preserved. Perfectly preserved. I did notice, uh, oh, there's a skeleton on there too. Did you see that? 
I did not see the skeleton. Oh, yeah, look at him. He's up there doing his thing. That, that's even better, man. That's more realistic I, with the bones I, um, and stuff. Well, maybe you have to fix that, but... <laughs> yeah, uh, what, what happened to the diamonds? Were, there um, were diamonds here, right? Um, uh, what, what diamonds? I mean, there were some deep slate diamonds in there somewhere, right? <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. No, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, those were moving fees and processing fees and hanging fees. So, uh, yeah, gotcha, yeah. I yeah, gotcha. yeah. The fees okay. get you every time, man. I tell you. Very true. Very so, true. Good job on this, Jeff. Though. This awesome, looks great. Awesome. I'm sure Cleo will absolutely love it, man. I hope so. I put a lot of work into that. <laughs> absolutely. All right, man. All right, I'll man. see you later, Thanks buddy. Again. So next up in the video, as I had mentioned in the intro, we are going to be working on a new building for our castle. Uh, before we do anything else, though, I want to quickly mention something. We're going to be switching up the palette just a little bit because we need to make sure. By the way, this is he's such a he's, oh God, he's such a good builder. I swear to God, dude. <sighs> Anyways, um, we're switching up the palette a little bit uh, on the buildings and all of our main large buildings are going to be stone brick palette. We're going to be switching to more of a spruce palette for these new buildings to kind of differentiate what they are. So this building is going to be located behind the trading market. And the game plan here is to start building sort of here and then all through up into here, right? We want to start adding uh, stuff in in this area, put a tower up here, and then eventually I'll have walls around this place. We got big plans. So with that being said, we are going to hop into a time lapse. So I hope you guys enjoy the build. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that time lapse. Here is our building. So this is a interesting build because I, I decided to switch the palette up and go for more of a traditional style Tudor house rather than sort of our stone buildings that we've been doing. Like I mentioned, I kind of wanted to switch things up a little bit. So not everything was just totally stone. So moving forward, any small sort of non communal places will be made like this so uh to start let's just take kind of a quick look around kind of give you guys a full full view of it and i really like how it came out and um i've got a cool idea for in here too we're gonna have stairs that go up right there to kind of connect everything together with that little house right there um 
so with tutors comes sort of the white aesthetic like the stucco ish look um so we used calcite polished diorite diorite um and a lot of spruce detail normally i don't do this much spruce detail but really like how this turned out using uh smoke trap doors some spruce trap doors i really haven't tried this look before either with the sort of flat look above the walls and the windows there so use that over here on this side as well some other little details about this build so underneath of the fascias we have uh some more detail up through there um really like this how this all turned out um i, I think i'm gonna put a little garden in this little area right here so i think this building is probably gonna be a blacksmith i'm not sure yet we'll definitely have to get the interior done soon uh some other little details is like the cobblestone trim here i did that over here wanted to kind of keep that theme throughout honestly i really like how that turned out some other little things like we use this as windows in the let's play world but a little bit different really like how that turned out uh using some of the new cherry saplings and things like that just a lot of little details here and there let's get out of free cam uh how do you use some terraforming on the mountain too um not super happy with that just yet i will probably kind of work on that some more i think uh as we sort of develop this area a little bit so what i want to show you is um i don't have it built yet but just totally out of time if we come over here and then go this way hold on i gotta turn light matica on real fast come here so there's a stairway that'll go up right here and then they'll connect those two rooms together so that's kind of the plan with these buildings, right? We want to make sure that sort of everything is connected together. Um, that's going to kind of give us our castle feel. So um, I'm really happy with how this turned out, though. Took me a little bit of time. I had a few different uh, ideas and like wanted to do some different things. So here we have like flat edges. Here I decided to do a trim fascia board. Uh, out of like stone and stuff and then kind of did some extra little flares at the end um yeah i just it really turned out pretty well try to transition this i missed some stuff here there's supposed to be trap doors here and a, a block there so missed that uh, but nothing in here just yet oh i bet it's a mob city in there i better watch out for that overall though i'm very happy with how this turned out to be honest with you so uh, I do think that's probably going to end today's episode. Let me know what you guys think about the build. If you like it, if you don't like it, I would love to hear your feedback. I'm always open to hearing build changes and design changes and things like that. So anyways, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like. Otherwise, I hope you guys all have a great day and thank you all for watching. This is iJevin. Peace out.